Hey guys, I'm back with more content. So, uh, I just need to collect a few more normal tools, then I'll be on my way. And I think I'm almost done with Razor Hill. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to level 10 now, so when I get to level 10, I will do a few battlegrounds, which will be lots of fun. Except. It's kind of annoying because I won't have any um, heirlooms, which will be new, since I usually have heirlooms. And uh, I'm going to be level 10, so I'm going to be very low level. So, it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to last very long. I'm going to die pretty quickly. I think rogues are able to one-hit me. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to see. I think healers are very good in uh, low level battlegrounds right now. It's pretty hard to kill them, especially if they have PvP bind on account items or heirlooms. If you guys want to know how to get heirlooms, um, I would suggest getting a high level character, most likely a uh, tank. So to get um, justice points, which are required for heirlooms, well, uh, PvE heirlooms, you're going to need to do high level instances. I think it is Wrath of the Lich King and above. Maybe Cataclysm and above. But, you know, around there. And it does take a, a while to get full heirlooms. So I would definitely just uh, suggest going for one set and then just keep on getting sets and um uh in <coughs> lower level battlegrounds you get justice points every time you complete a dungeon but when you get to a heroic dungeons i believe um you get justice points every boss kill so it gets a lot faster when you do heroics Alright. Yeah. I'm a druid, so I can't use mail. I can only use cloth and leather. And leather is the best type of armor for a uh, druid. Okay, so this part is kind of boring. I guess you can skip through this part of the video if you would like. Actually, I'm just going to kind of cut through it, because um, it takes a while. So I'll just show you one, and then I'll just show you how I think it's boring. So it just kind of shows you the area of... It shows you a person that you need to help. And then just kind of stays there for a few seconds, then goes away, so. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, I will be back once I'm done with all of these. I just need to do that exact same thing, like, three times, and then I will come back. Okay. Be right. Okay, I am done. So, turn that in. And now I need to go help these people. I don't really think it matters what order you help them in, as long as you help them all. Uh, I'm really close to level 9. I could probably just kill a thing and get to level 9. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one more thing. <coughs> do I get anything at nine? No, I don't. So, I guess it's kind of pointless, but oh, let's just get to level nine. 
Damn, this thing's killing me. Okay, level 9. First, I need to help Grandma Te Tecla. I think once I help all these guys, I'll probably be level 10. I, at least I hope. And yeah, these guys are going to destroy me, so I'm going to heal myself. Okay. Yeah, oh, and there's some copper over there. God, this is annoying. Alright. Now let's go help her. And sooner or later, I think I'll get it in aquatic form. Or I get to swim a lot faster. What level is that? Oh, I get that at level 18. That's nice. Hello. Okay, this is an escort quest. I think this is the first escort quest I've had so far. So pretty much all I have to do is make sure I keep the Grandma Tecla alive. <coughs> so she can reach her destination. And I don't know if this stuff attacks her. If I can just... Ugh, yeah, it does. That's great, that's really great. There we go. Wow, she takes damage. Like, a lot. <laughs> okay, I got a cape, so... Yeah, it's the only cape I have. And that's how I look. It's pretty pretty cool. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hate escort quests because people walk so slow. <coughs> and apparently Alliance are attacking a farm. I really don't want to get ganked in on YouTube. So let's hope they don't go over here. Here's some peace bloom I need to go grab. Yeah, now we get to walk on water. But she still walks slow. Okay, now she's in a whirlwind and she's flying. She's flying over to the rubble over there. I don't think she'll attract any mobs if she's that high in the air. So I'm just gonna kind of stealth. Don't want to ever get too far away from the guy that you're trying to escort, or else you will fail the quest. And then you'll have to go pick it up again, and it'll be a pain in the ass. There's Ragaron. Come on. I think I'll turn in the quest to here. Right? Yep, okay. Turn that in. 
get my XP. And you kill some quill bores and some scouts. Here's a scout. Yeah, they have Razor Man, which makes it so that whenever I attack them, whenever I hit them, it causes a, a decent amount of damage to me, so it's a bit of a pain. Let's see how much damage I do. <coughs> yeah, that's decent. When I hit level 10, um, and I do a restoration, I will start getting more mana. Because, as you can see, the blue bar is mana, and the green bar is health. My blue bar has been re I mean, my blue bar has been 40, uh, I think, since level 1. And once I hit level 10, if I pick a restoration or balance, I will get, I'll start getting mana every level. But if I pick, like, a uh, feral, for example, I will gain mana a lot slower. Because they don't really need mana. But healers do. Is he throwing rocks at me? Okay, one more scout. Let's see how well I can do in bear form. Yeah, you don't do a lot of damage in bear form. thing about uh, druids forms is that they don't change looks over time which is something I kinda <coughs> I don't like I, I really don't like that I like to see my character their looks pro progress as I continue to level I don't like not being able to see my armor because that's one of the most fun things about getting the armor is having it look Really awesome. And there was a new thing implemented several patches ago where you could uh, change your armor to look like another piece of armor. And, uh, like, for example, if I got a really cool piece of leather armor, but it wasn't very good, but I liked the looks of it, um, I could keep the stats of my current armor and switch it with the looks of the armor that I thought was cool. But it has to be, like, it has to be the same type of armor. Like, if I, if it was a, if it was a, a leather chest, I could only make it look like another leather chest. So you can't, like, make a piece of cloth look like a piece of mail. Oh, here's a rare. You can tell it's rare by its uh, silver dragon around its frame. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, I got another bag. Okay. And I think I'm done with that quest. Yes. Oh, no, I'm not. I have to kill another scout. Okay, here's a scout. Alright. I'm halfway to level 9. Well, I will be once I turn in this quest. And that guy just stole my mining. My mine. Or that bastard. Okay. Here's a piece of leather that I'll use. Don't really need that because, as I said, I'm going for the stats, not the damage. Just saying it. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave this video off right now. 
and I will make a new video soon, so stay tuned guys. See you later.